Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick rundown of my mini pedal board that I've been using. The single chain goes straight right to left. So the first in the chain is the JHS double barrel. Next is the TC electronic spark boost. Next is the Dunlop mini volume pedal. Then the Boss DD7. Then the Matthew FX Astronomer. And finally the Line 6 HX Stomp, which I use as my amp. All right guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys, <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. Okay, so not only do I wanna share with you guys how I set up my tone, but I also wanna explain some key elements of how I interact with this board. So I first set up my amp. And for my amp, I'm using the Line 6 HX Stomp. If you know anything about this pedal, it is a powerful pedal and it can do a ton of things, but I'm only using this pedal for an amp. If you know the lingo, I'm using only the Matchstick Channel 1 with its accompanied cab, so I'm not using any IRs, and that's the only block that I'm using. So this is where the first element comes in. I set up my amp so that I can get different tones simply by picking softer or picking harder. This also applies to my drives, but we'll get there in a second. But basically, I can get softer tones and cleaner tones if I pick softer, but if I pick harder, it's a lot more overdriven. So this is how my amp sounds by itself. So the next pedal I like to set up is my reverb. So I like to set up my reverbs like really washy and heavenly like. So this is what it sounds like. Next is my delay. Now, I don't like to set up my delay where you can hear it up front. It's more of a subtle thing. And what this does for me is that it makes my guitar sound much more fuller. So here's the delay with the reverb. So finally, I think about my overdrives and my gain stages. This is my favorite part. Now for this, I'm gonna keep my reverb, my delay on because in my tone designing process, I shape my drives in conjunction to how it reacts with my wet pedals. I never find myself shaping the sound of my overdrives without my wet pedals on. So the first stage is technically my amp without the pedals on, then the morning glory side of the double barrel, then the 808 side. Uh, the gain stages might sound a bit harsh, but keep in mind that this is in the context of a full band. So in a full mix, my guitar won't sound as gainy. And as I go through each gain stage, listen for the different tones I can get when I'm picking softer or when I'm picking harder. Finally, we get to my boost, which simply boosts the volume. But since this is sitting before my amp, it's going to make me sound more overdriven. This might sound kind of harsh outside of the mix, but in the mix, it'll help me stick out more, which is what I want. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.